go. Can we, and can we dig it? Yes, we can. Oh, you can, you can see that. Well, you can see half of the three, you can. Hi, my friends call me Lime and I want to help you perform even better in your videos. And so let's talk about overacting and underacting. When I say acting, I don't necessarily mean acting as in playing another character. What I'm talking about is how you express yourself and overacting is when you express yourself too much. Like, my friends call me Lime! My friends call me Lime! My friends call me Lime! And I want to help you perform even better in your videos. Yes! You smash that like button right now so you can have more explosions! More emotions! Underacting is when you express yourself, your, um, your personality, your emotions, and your movements too little, too weakly. And I say can be because you're always acting in a context and it is that context that determines whether you're underacting or overacting. Uh, a clear example would be the difference between acting on camera and acting on stage. If you, if you, for example, open a chest in front of the camera, then just raising your eyebrows could be enough. But if you do the same thing on, on stage, then you need to do a lot more in order for that reaction to actually translate to your audience and it's not always about the distance between you and your audience the context can also be about the genre of the video or just about the strength of emotions that your audience expects you to have i have never been happier in my life so, underacting risks being boring and overacting risks feeling exaggerated, taking away your genuineness. And so you want to find the sweet spot in between and that's where many struggle, myself included. I myself haven't completely gotten the hang of it yet, though I feel I have gotten a lot better. Better? Bet better. So, your challenge is to find the balance between underacting and overacting in the context of your videos and master that. So, let's look at some solutions. Um, what I needed to realize was that when I do these kinds of videos, I can't talk like I do in everyday life. Uh, at least not when I'm in a normal mood, because when I talk like this, I, I, I seem very low in energy and personality, but the thing is that nobody would say that about me in everyday life. So my conclusion was that I needed to turn myself up a little for my personality to actually reach through the camera to the audience. So I feel like, I feel like people are oversimplifying it when they go, well, you just go and be yourself. Well, sure, by all means, be yourself, but it doesn't matter how much yourself you are if you fail to reach through the camera enough for your audience to actually experience you. However, some just naturally express emotion enough for it to also reach through a camera, so some just don't need to turn themselves up much or at all, but many YouTubers do, including many of the YouTubers of this channel. I mean, imagine if the hosts of this channel talked like they do in everyday life, like they talk on the camera. Freedom! Today I wanted to talk to you about doing the dishes. Don't forget to wash the sink and do all of those things that makes me love my kitchen. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Hi, I'm Linus. And who am I? I am Lime Senpai, Papa Lime, and all the other names that has been given me. I am Lime, host of a show on freedom! For freedom and the freedom family! So then how do you know how much energy to put in your performance? Well, 
You could do what I did and find a YouTuber who you look up to and does kind of the same thing that you do and try to match what they do. I'm not saying be like them, I'm just saying you can use them as templates for how strongly to express yourself and then after a while you can start using yourself as a template and grow into your own role. So that is it for this episode, thank you so much for watching, bye.